my name is Zoe Amani and you're watching my channel Blank Paper. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my minimal all white room. I recently redecorated my space and I'm really satisfied with how it turned out. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Let's get started. So this is my room and this is about all you'll be seeing today because I do share a room with my sister so I'm trying to conceal her side of the room. The wall also that I'm not showing is literally just a plain wall. There's nothing there so I didn't want to show that part of the room either. So this is my little corner. So this is my bed. I went with all white bedding. Literally everything that I decorated my room with is from the website House. The bedding is from a seller called Wholesale Bedding and it is the wrinkle resistant 100% cotton 300 thread count duvet cover set and it's in the size full slash queen. My sheets are a set of striped sheets and they are 300 thread count as well. They are 100% cotton sateen sheets and they're also from the seller Wholesale Bedding. But yeah, the sheets in the duvet are super comfortable and I really genuinely feel like I'm at a hotel sleeping here because it reminds me of the bedding from the hotel that I worked at. I know some people may not like that, but I really like it because it makes me feel like I'm on a vacation every time I'm lying in bed. This is my desk area and it almost functions as a nightstand as well, which I think is a great tip for those of you who may be trying to save space. This isn't the most storage friendly desk. There's only two small drawers and a pull out keyboard shelf, but it's definitely great for space and it has a lovely contemporary design. Now I will say I was kind of disappointed when I got this desk because it's not the best quality. I think I knew that going in that it wasn't the best quality just because of the price, but I think I was expecting a little better. The laminate white surface of the desk is definitely bunched in certain areas given these areas are towards the back of the desk so thank goodness I have it against the wall so you can't really see but I was definitely disappointed by that and I can tell that it probably won't be a piece of furniture that will stand the test of time so just keep that in mind if you're interested in purchasing this desk know what you're going into it was super easy to assemble and I really appreciated that because I read so many reviews of beautiful desks that were a nightmare to assemble so if you're looking for something easy i would definitely recommend this desk for that reason and now my chair i'm absolutely in love with this chair and was very thrilled with the quality and just how comfortable it is especially for the price point and this one is sold directly by house as well i wanted something very clean and modern looking but i felt like you always had to compromise comfort um, in order to find a really beautiful modern chair and i didn't want to have to make that compromise so i was so happy when i found this but yeah, definitely recommend this chair. And for my desk accessories, it's really just, I have my candles, my books, and I keep my drives on my desk for easy access when I'm editing. And I keep them in the box that my iPhone came in because I think it was just so sleek and minimal. And I like to repurpose things. I don't like to keep a lot of things on my desk just because so many of my books and magazines are on my desk. But yeah, I try to keep my desk space as neat and clean as possible. this little wall I just have a couple posters and a photo taped to the wall with washi tape and I don't know I just felt like my room was missing a little something had nothing on the wall I just used washi tape and I think it looks really cute the poster and one of the photos is from Hyodin's album love and hate I just thought why not put it on the wall because I don't have any other posters or anything to put on the wall so I just use that and this is also I guess like my little charging station I like that the outlet is right next to my desk and not behind my desk because I don't know I just find it really annoying to have to reach behind a desk to plug things up or unplug something it's very easy to just plug up my laptop or charge my phone and then last but not least I have some pictures of friends that I like to keep up just because I don't know I'm such a hermit I feel like I can forget sometimes that I actually have friends and that I should talk to them and that I should reach out to them I'm so thankful to my friends for always like reaching out to me and checking up on me I'll link literally everything I can think of in the description box and if there's anything that I don't list down there that you're wondering about you can leave a comment or DM me 
So I hope you guys enjoyed that room tour. I'm going to link in the description box below all of the furnishings and bedding and so forth that I showed in this video. So if you're interested, definitely check that out. And I also want to share some quick tips with you guys on how I design my room. My first tip is to create a Pinterest board. That was really helpful for me, just picking out images that really evoked what I wanted my space to look like and how I wanted to feel when I entered my space. I feel like more than trying to decide what you want your space to look like, First, figure out how you want your space to make you feel, and that will just help to set up everything. I know my space was inspired by my time that I spent working at a hotel, and I would always be so envious of the guests who stayed there because I worked as a front desk clerk, so I was on my feet all day, and it was pretty exhausting. And so anytime I would have to go into one of the rooms, it'd be so tempting to just lie on the bed. Of course, I never did that, but it made me realize that when I redecorated my room, I wanted it to have the feeling of a hotel. I wanted to feel like I was on vacation. I wanted it to feel very minimal and neutral like a lot of hotel rooms are because they don't want anything to be offensive to a guest so i knew i wanted my room to have a very sleek clean minimal feel that was very helpful for me so i definitely suggest drawing from your life and figuring out how you want your room to make you feel and then choosing images for your pinterest board that reflect that and that will really help you with the design of your room secondly is to design your room around a statement piece it's definitely easier to pick a chair that goes with your desk and pick bedding that goes with your desk rather than picking a chair that you like picking bedding that you like and a desk that you like that was definitely an issue i encountered in the beginning i was just trying to find items that I liked and that fit my theme but it became so much easier once I picked out my desk and then designing my entire room around that so before I was looking at all sorts of different chairs that I liked and it was really hard eliminating one over the other I just couldn't choose but once I picked my desk it was easy because I have a white and chrome desk so it was easy to choose a white chair with chrome hardware and I definitely feel like designing your room around a statement piece will help the process to go a lot quicker and a lot smoother and lastly I would say don't overthink it don't become overwhelmed with perfecting your room because things can always be changed in the future if you get something you don't like it you can return it or if you decide over time that you don't really like it you can always update things or add things start simple my room is definitely not complete I definitely want to get some desk organizers things to kind of have a more minimal look on my desk but for now I'm really satisfied with how it turned out so know that you can always build upon uh, the design of your room everything doesn't have to be perfected right away and if something is really weighing on you and you feel like you can't make a decision regarding a certain element of your room sit that on a shelf and come back to it later and focus on the things that you're sure about but like I said I'm really happy with how my room turned out and I hope this was helpful for you guys I know on YouTube it can actually be quite hard to find videos of like very minimal sleek clean rooms you do have some but just not as many as I would think or even if they say they're minimal, it's like, I don't know, it was just a different style than what I was looking for. So I just realized there can never be enough of room tour videos and that's why I think they're so popular because everyone's taste is so different. So everyone's trying to find videos that cater to their unique style. So I thought why not upload mine and maybe it could help some of you out there who have similar tastes. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like this video if you found it helpful and if you'd like to see more videos like this. I really wanted to show you guys how I created this space because I feel like it really is aesthetic and calm and it's technically the set design for my channel so I thought why not share how I created it with you guys but yeah if you found this video helpful or enjoyed it please like it it lets me know that you guys would like to see more videos like this and also subscribe to my channel if you're not already and if you're interested in seeing more aesthetic and calm content because that's what I do here and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one Bye guys.